What if I told you the key to finding hidden gold isn't buried deep in the mountains or locked inside a mine, but lying silently at the edge of a river, glittering beneath black sands you've probably stepped over without even noticing? Oy. Welcome to the overlooked treasure trail that has made gold hunters millionaires without ever lifting a shovel. Stay with me, because today we're revealing the hidden science and secrets behind black sands and the gold they quietly guard. Black sands are more than just dark-colored particles you find along riverbeds or beaches. They're primarily composed of heavy minerals like magnetite, hematite, and ilmenite. But what makes them truly fascinating is their high density, which is exactly why gold likes to hide there. Because gold is incredibly dense, 19.3 times heavier than water, it naturally settles where heavy minerals accumulate. So where you see black sand, there's a real possibility you'll find fine or even chunky gold. These sands form in places with strong water flow. Think rivers, streams, and coastal areas. As water rushes through a channel, Lighter materials are swept away. What remains? The densest stuff, black sand and often gold. Gold has a sneaky habit of hitchhiking with black sands. During floods or rapid water flow, eroded gold particles are carried downstream. When the energy of the water drops, like behind rocks and eddies or at the inside bends of rivers, the heavier particles settle first. And that's where gold and black sand meet. The gold in these areas is usually fine, called flower gold. But nuggets aren't out of the question. The biggest mistake people make is ignoring these dark patches. To the untrained eye, they look like muck. But for you, they're a signal. Gold is near. You don't need a high-tech lab to separate gold from black sand. In fact, many hobbyists use simple tools. Gold pans, the most basic tool, using water motion to wash away lighter materials. Snuffer bottles, to pick up tiny gold pieces left behind. Magnet, to remove magnetic black sand like magnetite. Blue bowl or spiral wheel. More advanced tools for separating fine gold efficiently. Understanding the behavior of materials in water is key. Gold, being heavier, stays put while black sand can be gently washed away or magnetically removed. Patience is critical here. It's slow work, but rewarding. Gold loves to hide where water slows down. Some of the best places to look include inside bends of rivers, behind large boulders, in cracks or crevices of bedrock. At the base of waterfalls, gravel bars that form after flooding. After a heavy rainstorm or seasonal flood, rivers shift and expose fresh black sand deposits. These are prime times for searching. Also, keep an eye out for plants growing only in mineral-rich soils. Some species thrive where heavy metals, including gold, are present. Gold's relationship with black sand is a tale of density, erosion, and hydrodynamics. Scientists have studied the specific gravity of materials in natural sorting systems. Gold's specific gravity, 19.3, far exceeds that of quartz, 2.65, or sand, 1.5 to 2.5. When rivers run, they essentially become natural sluice boxes, automatically sorting materials based on weight. This means that black sands act as geological markers, indicating places of natural concentration. 
Even geologists use these clues to track ancient gold-bearing pathways. Many modern gold finds have started with humble black sands. In Alaska, prospectors collected buckets of black sand, only to extract ounces of fine gold days later. One hunter in British Columbia found a five-ounce nugget buried under a layer of black sand near a river bend. These aren't just lucky finds. They're the result of understanding nature's clues. Black sand isn't just waste. It's a whispered message from the earth saying, gold is here. You don't need to be a geologist. With a gold pan, magnet, and some persistence, you can start exploring riverbanks in your area. And don't be fooled by size. Fine gold adds up fast. Every fleck you find builds your skill, your confidence, and possibly your future fortune. What's more, you're stepping into a tradition that spans centuries. Ancient civilizations panned rivers for gold. And today, thanks to better tools and shared knowledge, you're better equipped than ever. Always sample several spots before settling. Use a magnet to reduce black sand volume early. Pan slowly and carefully. Fine gold is easily lost. If you find lead bullets or fishing weights, gold may be near. Talk to local prospecting clubs. Many experienced hunters are eager to share advice and might even let you tag along on hunts. So the next time you walk along a river and see a dark, glittering patch of sand, pause, look closer. That could be your first step toward uncovering a hidden treasure. The world of gold hunting isn't just for the pros or the lucky. It's for those who pay attention. Black sands are more than a geological oddity. They are nature's map to hidden gold. Grab your gear. Trust your eyes and let the rivers reveal their secrets. This is not just a video. It's your invitation to a forgotten journey of discovery. Subscribe, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next adventure.